Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about our guest tonight. Uh, first guest tonight is our good friend, John Dickerson, from Face the Nation, the nation face himself. He'll be out here in just a minute to talk about the news of the week. Level-headed, fair. But before we begin tonight, I, just, I want to take a moment to send out our thoughts to the people of Barcelona, Spain, who suffered a horrific attack today. A vehicle drove into a crowd in that city, killing at least 12 people and injuring dozens more. This is a heartbreaking reminder that evil is real and that the United States is not alone in fighting in it. I, I also want to note that today, this afternoon, President Trump said the right thing, tweeting, the United States condemns the terror attack in Barcelona, Spain, and will do whatever is necessary to help. Be tough and strong. We love you. Thank you, sir. Simple, dignified, presidential. That's what you want. Yeah. That's what you hope for. Yeah. That's all you can ask. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's right. We love you, Spain. And I, I was sincerely happy to see that kind of moral leadership from our president for about 45 minutes, because... <laughs> Then he tweeted, Study what General Pershing of the United States did to terrorists when caught. There was no more radical Islamic terror for 35 years. <laughs> what, what the... <laughs> Who the, huh? What? <laughs> See, this was going on. There's this story about General Pershing, American general who fought Muslim insurgents in the Philippines about a century ago. Trump likes telling the story about how Pershing executed Muslim prisoners of war. He took 50 bullets and he dipped them in pig's blood and they shot 49 of those people and the 50th person, he said, you go back to your people and you tell them what happened. And for 25 years, there wasn't a problem. That is a dark story. No wonder his kids turned out the way they did. <laughs> And then, and then, the big bad wolf slaughtered two of the three little pigs. And he told the third one, you piggy, you go back to the sty and you tell your buddies, no more brick houses. Uh-uh. No more. Oh Don't God. do it. Don't do it. No. Stay uh -uh. away. Anyway, good night, Eric. <laughs> Any one of them, any one of them. Trump's point is uh, we got to be tough like we used to. But here's one problem with that. The story is not true. It's been called a poorly sourced yarn. Poorly sourced yarn, by the way, also what Ivanka uses in her clothing line. Hey! One, hey! I think, right? Hey! <laughs> You're very nice. You're very nice. One historian said, this story is a fabrication and has long been discredited. I am amazed it is still making the rounds. <laughs> if it wasn't for our president, a lot of things wouldn't be making the rounds. <laughs> okay, all right, everybody, listen up. This is how General Patton stopped the Nazis at the Battle of Miami, okay? So, <laughs> there at Miami Beach, fabulous hotels, he sneaks into Hitler's cabana dressed as a babysitter named Brenda, I think. Then... <laughs> He told them, okay, they said to him, don't forget to put the turkey in the microwave. When they come home, the turkey's in the bassinet, Ava Braun freaks out, Hitler shoots himself in the bunker. True story. <laughs> so, can we check on that? Is that a true story? Okay, so, we'll fact check that. So, the story is complete nonsense. However, one thing about General Pershing that is true is this quote of his. A competent leader can get efficient service from poor troops, while on the contrary, an incapable leader can demoralize the best of troops. <laughs> Did he say anything? <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Huge. 